He did indeed check it over, and Doug rips it, puts Pierre in the blender. I like that Stephen Rosenthal. We'll have to do that. <laughs> Stephen Rosenthal wants the next thumbnail to include E-Fan's bulging eyes when he says, You folded queens? <laughs> we need to get that on a thumbnail. For the love of God, let's do it for Stephen Rosenthal. Set. We missed a sandwich bet. Uh, I would have picked six if you only one. <laughs> Doug, no waiting here. Fires in 1K is going to start building. And that's going to get called from Forrest, who's still curious here with the snowmen. But the snowmen do not survive. Oh, open ender now. They still though. don't survive in this Texas heat. Open ender for Forrest. Going nowhere. Board very, very wet. Diamonds, spades. The 8 9 gets there. Forrest also blocking. So this could get spicy. How much is Doug going to make it? Full pot? Just under. A few bananas. 3,800. I think Forrest will just be clicking the call button. Mm -hmm. Don't think he wants to get out of line right now. Definitely good for a call, though. 3,800 picks up equity, reaching for calling chips. Makes the call. So we have a pot here. We're at 12.6. Boat City. Row, row. For Doug. This is still a bad card for Forrest. He might think his eights are good here. Doug definitely capable of firing the triple barrel. But he's got the goods the entire way. Flop turn river. All in. And All in moment. Over bet rips. Going to put Forrest to the test for his entire stack. A little bit different playing with Doug. Power of the big stack. Has done this with air a few times and doubling up his opponents, but not now. Not this afternoon. Mr. 10X Forrest Gump better run, run, and get out of this pot. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, the Lodge live stream, 3 o'clock central. Like and subscribe to the channel. Diamonds miss. All of the Broadway cards. Not on this board. It's two pair eights and fives. And that is second best. Six is full. Doug. Motionless. One of the calls, two of the folds, chat. Let us know what you think. Forrest trying to get a read. It's going to be tough against Doug. Doug, stoic. Usually just stares at one spot on the felt. Zones out. Probably thinking about what he's going to order for dinner tonight. Not really worried about this pot. He knows he's got the goods. A lot of twos. A lot of people think he's going to fold here. Eight hundred people in chat. Thank you for joining us. Remember to hit that like button on this video. All of that banana plum. Good, good over the shoulder shot of the pot there. Good camera work. 
It's Maestro Matt Sweeney, I mean, come on. It's not his first rodeo, Rick. I don't know, the longer he thinks about this, he could be talking himself into a call here. There are worlds where eights could be good, but this is not one of them. Got there on the rail, some peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M. He's laying it down. He's got it. We He's are folding. We're eighty percent to a fold. He's got the cards in the air. We're folding in under ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three. You're getting slower. Two, one, and then in the, in the muck. It's perfect timing. Forrest takes a deep breath <laughs> and wonders to himself, did I make the right decision? You sure did. You'll find out in 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Rick and Tom. <laughs> okay, there's 250 rays on C5. And then C6, 7, and 8 fold. King eight six, pair of eights for Justin and Doug, and pair of kings for Pierre. Everybody got a little something, something. of hearts on the river and Pierre this cowboy held up six hundred is the bet from Pierre here reaching for raising chips makes it 3k Justin's out of there with his eight I don't think Pierre's going anywhere neither do I going to lay it down. Doug is on his A game today, making the plays. It's a, it's a people mover if it's flat. What's Anyways, it called? The flat escalator. The flat escalator. Anyways, I'm running on that, literally running on that, and I hit solid ground where it's not moving. My foot stuck. I go flying through the air. Both bags leave my hand. I have a suit on. I land at the feet of two gorgeous women. Who just started cracking up? I'm embarrassed. I still have a flight to catch. So and one, I pick and up one's my your bags. wife. I mean, now one's your future no. wife. Yeah. So I pick up my bags and I keep running. Moving walkway. Thanks, Connor Dane. So these just beautiful women just laugh at you. Oh, they saying? were. They we got were Ace King on Ace King crime here, Rick. Cracking up. One is suited though. Does it matter? It could. You're saying we're going to see some hearts on this flop here? Could come. 
Two of them? How many hearts are we seeing, Rick? Pierre and Doug. Round two. Yeah, I, I bit it. Both bags flew in the air. We're calling it the moving walkway. That seems fair. Escalator doesn't make much sense. That's fair. What will Doug do here against his good buddy Pierre, the third best player from Italy? Jess will give us the flop. One heart. Jump ball. Who wants it? What's Pierre doing here? 1,200? 1,000? 1,200? What do you think we're coming with here in Pierre's shoes for the C-bet? 1,500. Ooh. You had a head start there when I did. I reached did. the plums, but I we'll did. give it to you. Yes, we, we got it. It's the people mover. You know, the flat escalator. <laughs> Doug calls. Going nowhere. Pierre has been known to fire many bullets. He's going to do it again. This is what makes him my hero sometimes. If he can do it. Just doing some inventory, Rick. Little counting. The office still open here on Friday afternoon. Going to count these chips. Get them right. See where we're standing. 6.4 in the middle. Pierre reaching. There it is. There's the Pierre I know and love. 3,800. What does Doug do here? Quickly makes the call wow. here, so we are going to see a river card. Same, same, 14,000 in the middle. We're going to see a river card. Doesn't matter what comes. What will Pierre do? Does he empty the clip? The two famous words. Does have some showdown value now, 4 4 three, three with the ace. Very well could go check, check. Could definitely see Pierre rip it for all you can eat with the soda on the side. And there's that vacuum as we are knee deep here on the river. 14,000, Rick. There with 10 behind. Goes to 11. Did this with Forrest. Not right. many fours or threes in these guys' range. Perhaps Doug might have a 10. And Pierre wants to try and bluff him off of it, telling the story. He does indeed check. Waves the white flag there. I thought I did see a check from Pierre. It was quite, it was kind of subtle, but I believe the action now is on Doug. I'm not sure if the dealer caught it. I'm not sure where we stand here. Thought I saw Pierre knuckle a little bit. Oh he did goodness. indeed check it over, and Doug rips it, puts Pierre in the blender. Ugh. And Pierre is going to lay it down quickly, it seems. Not really even considering making a call here with Ace High. Doesn't think it's good. Lays it down. Doug. Doug getting the best of Pierre today. And I think had Pierre made that play, Doug would have folded. I don't know. We'll never know. Yeah, I started with like uh, 13 total. <laughs> Say what? 13 total. 13. Yeah, one. <laughs> Pierre juicing it up with the sixes here from the small and another big slick for Doug. So we're going to have round three. If you are scoring at home, it's 2-0 for Doug. And this is a tough spot for Doug. Pierre just likes Pierre. On. You know, he, he likes Pierre. Pierre is his buddy. And now 
he's going to have to crush him. So the the heart of Doug doesn't want to do it, but the poker player in him has to. Can't help it. Three betting the 2K. Doug going nowhere with the big slick. Open from Justin, 9-8. Three bet. And we have a all in. <laughs> in the bond. Oh, Four bet jam from, from Doug. And that gets it through. Another one. Doug is zigging when he should be zigging today. He is <laughs> double zig. He is doing it the correct way. And look at that. Up 20,000 today. Forrest up 3,300. Everyone else is losing. Pierre now throwing the party down 11,500. Queen 10, Queen 10, both suited. Diamonds and clubs, Pierre versus Justin. But Pierre's gonna juice it on up a little bit more. Aces for Doug in the double straddle. Oh my Sometimes goodness. Sometimes it's not fair, Rick. He's loving this game today. Gonna put in the four bed here and should probably shut it down. Don't see him getting tricky with the flat. He'll fire in a four bet to try and go heads up here with his aces and Pierre will be folding. <laughs> what will he make this bet? 7,000? What will we make this? Look for a little under that. Wants to keep his players interested here. 4,400. Cinnabon will try your hot sauce, budget chicken, on stream. Send him the ghost pepper special. And Pierre's going to fold this. Don't make the price pretty interesting to see if Pierre perhaps wants to see three cars, and he doesn't even make the call, yeah. Just enough where Doug keeps his opponent interested in here. Pierre out of position against Doug. Dangerous. 9.5 in the middle. Needs some queens, tens, or some diamonds. And he flops Ooh, an open ender. Open ender here. Picks up a lot of outs. Not good for my side bet here. I need Doug to take this one down. Let's see what happens. Pierre snap checks. Doug going to fire in a C bet. A little smaller bet, 2,500. 2,500, we are going nowhere for that price. Looking for an ace or a nine is Pierre. Ace would be quite the spicy card there. It's an eight of diamonds, close to a nine, but not quite a nine. 14.5 in the middle, Pierre checks again. Pierre, 21.5 back. Doug has him well covered. What is the wager on this street? Asking to see a stack. Quite sure what Doug's gonna do here. Maybe six thousand. A little bit more. Seventy-eight hundred. Goes for half pot.
we're on the farm right now, Rick. We got our toothpick, our pieces of hay in our mouths, the rocking chair. We're in the barn and we're milking. Will Pierre come along facing a $7,800 wager here? A little bit too expensive and Pierre lays it down. Shows the aces. Wow, Yoda wants a piece of duck. Heads up for rolls. Jack nine, King Jack. Doug tries to see a cheap one, and High says, "Get that weak sauce out of here." New price, six hundred. I think Doug's going to take his chances against High. Heads up with a suited Jack nine. He makes it the call. We'll see three, 1.3 1 in the middle. <laughs> Nine, ten, two Skittles. A pair of nines for Doug. Straight draw for high, looking for a queen. Five of hearts, meaningless. Doug's still in the lead. I looking for a king or a queen. 1,200 is the bet. Quick call. Doug not buying it. King or queen for high doesn't come. 4.5 in the middle, all of a sudden it goes check, check, weighs the white flag. Nine's good, two pair. Get paid. Give me the winnings, Doug up almost 25,000.